hello everyone let's see today problem today problem is group anagram so we are given a strings list of strings and we need to group the anagrams together so let's see the definition of anagram so anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase typically using all the original letters exactly one so basically they are saying if we take a word just like eat so all the words which we can make from this eat this eat words all the words consisting only the elements of this particular eat in different order that is order doesn't matter it should be made of only of these characters as number of characters present in the original word and it should be exactly used once so length should be equal first is length should be equal and contains all the cats or elements that present in the original word okay so basically all the words that can make up with three letters and having characters only eat those all words can be grouped together and they will form the anagram so let's see in the example thus they have given us a string of words that is eat t tan eat nat bat so we can see here eat and t both are having three lengths and both are containing exactly the same characters see e is present one time here also e is present at one time a is present once here also a is present only once t is present once here t also present only once so these two forms a anagram again we are going for tan so tan is not similar to this eat or t so we will look for next character that is eight so let me take another color so these two forms anagram okay now eight is also similar to eat because it containing three length of three and having all the cats that elements that present in eat so this also form an anagram now nat nat and this tan they are forming an anagram because they are three of lengths and containing all the elements that is present in tan okay and left out is our bat so bat is a single anagram so we have three anagram so we can see here in the output also e t eight this is one anagram nat and tan this is our second anagram bat is our third anagram okay so we need to return grouping all these anagrams together okay so how we can proceed firstly we can go for brute force approach so what that approach say that we'll take the first word okay for suppose in example i will take the eat and just go for i will take the e care and next check for all the elements uh, that are present in our string that any of these things start with eat any of these three cats any words start with these three cats we'll we'll just filter that particular words which are starting either from e a or t okay in these three characters after if any of this again again we have to go for recursive call so this we can say this will be exponential exponential so this is not good way of approaching this problem so we need to think in a clever way so let's see how firstly 
we know that there will be 26 alphabets okay a to z and here we are given that uh, our alphabets can repeat also because a word can have two similar character so why not we should make use of hash table because uh, in this particular problem the number of words are 100 okay that is given to us and the length of a word can go to 10 raised to the power 6 so definitely this approach is very poor we can't go for brute forcing it so we need to use hash table because it's only 100 words and we know that each word consists only 26 alphabets in the, oh, sorry alphabets okay so why not we will create a map of each these letters means i am saying that there will be we will create a list or array of 26 character okay so this will be 26 char and we will just make a count of how number of times a is appearing how many number of times this t is appearing means two three a b c whatever the characters are appearing and we will store this map in a hash table okay this particular so the length of hash map will be 100 at most and this is only 26 so this is constant space only okay so o1 space only this one if you take so 100 into 26 so this is constant thing only now if any particular this our word is coming that having similar uh, hash key so that will get mapped to the in this particular value itself so just we need a hash to hash map so we can come up with the answer so if we do by hash map what will the time complexity see our space complexity is constant it's 100 and 26 and again some odd so we can say it it's constant okay or it's equal to the number of words in our string original string and the space uh, this is our space complexity what about the time complexity so we are going through each words and the length so time complexity will be 100 into 10 to power 6 so if our number of uh, words is n and length of each word is say l so max length is l so it will be n into l so it's not that bad yeah so let's uh, implement this thing okay so we are going to create a hash map okay hash map now uh, as given in the question the words will contain only lowercase letter lowercase letter okay so let's our hash map be oh sorry so this is our hash map now we need to go through the entire list of words so for w in s t r s so we are iterating through all the words then we need to create a that particular 26 alphabets the hash for this thing so let's initialize a list of 20 so let's be temp temp is equal to this 0 into 26 okay now for c in for characters in our words so we need to increment or increment this but if c is appearing two times so we need to go to the second index and make the value there two okay 
So So index is equal to uh, firstly we need to get the sky values okay ORD C and ORD A because here by subtracting the sky values of character minus a that will give us in raise to 0 to 25 which we required okay so that's why we do it so here we need to do temp index plus is equal to 1 okay so we increase that particular index with 1 now we need to Okay, so like let's make our dictionary collections dot default dictionary list. Okay, so after completing uh, this 26 hash creation of this particular word, we need to append it to our dictionary. So, dictionary temp dot append this particular word. Okay. Now, at last, we need to return in a list form. So, we can write something like return we need to return the values ok so let's run our code okay oh sorry here this problem is that the our dictionary could dictionary key can't be a list because list is mutable and we need to make our dictionary key immutable so let's convert this in tuple so So it's giving us correct output. Let's run for the example test cases. So it's working perfectly fine. So let's submit our code. Yeah, so it's got submitted and it's quite efficient. So let's see the time and space complexity. So time complexity as we have seen that we are using one for loop, this one. This one for loop for our iterating to entire number of words. And then again inner for loop for each character in the world. So it will be if n is the number of words in our string. So it will be n into the length of maximum length of the word. So n into if say it's l so n into l. And the space complexity is also included because we are using a dictionary. So it will be equal to the number of words into 26 because 26 bit long or 26 list num uh, length list we are using. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for listening.